you're fine. We are great company, young fella. When it's the like of you and me, you'd hear the penny poets singing in an August fair. Did you kill your father? He did not. She hit himself with a worn pick, and the rusted poison did corrode his blood the way he never overed it and died after. <laughs> That was a sneaky kind of murder. Did win small glory with the boys itself. If it didn't, maybe all knows a widow woman has buried her children and destroyed her man is a wiser comrade for a young lad than a girl the like of you who'd go helter-skelter and after any man would let you wink upon the road. And you'll say that, Widow Quinn, and you, gasping with the rage, you had race in the hill beyond to look on his face. Me, is it? Well, Father Riley has cuteness to divide you now. There's great temptation in a man to slay his da, and we'd best be going, young fella, so rise up and come with me. You not stir. He's pot boy in this place, and I'll not have him stolen off and kidnapped while himself's abroad. Hi, I'm Mike Menendian. I'm the director of The Playboy of the Western World by J.M. Singh. Uh, the story basically takes place in an old, rundown pub, bar, they call it a shabeen, in the, uh, on the west coast of Ireland, where there's a young uh, man who enters into this world, and we find out early on that he has uh, slain his father. And the people of the town, instead of um, taking him to the police, find him to be the coolest thing since sliced bread because it's different, it's new, it shows a lot of bravery, and most importantly, uh, he tells it extremely eloquently and with a lot of excitement. They all want a piece of him and think that he is the chosen one for this town. And really just sort of entrances everyone with his stories um, and, you know, a little bit of a a con man. Christy is hired as the pot boy, the busser essentially of the bar that Pegeen runs. Um, and there is a bit of a physical attraction between the two of them, especially since neither have history with the opposite sex. She's not very trusting, so when Christy comes walking in with his grand story, she is the first to doubt the uh, validity of it. The, the widow just sees some connections and some similarities between herself and Christy, which really pumps up those feelings of, of lust and, and connection. Uh, the story is both a romantic comedy with, as well as a, a satire of the small farm life, rural life in Ireland. And uh, I think that uh, it's absolutely a brilliant story about uh, how isolation and uh, uh, kind of uh, just, I guess the sense of isolation making people desperate and extremely lonely. Loneliness is a very big part of the story. So with this new face in town, it perks everyone's ears up and brings in something new to a town that's, or to an area that's gotten very stale and, and old and predictable. And I think that that's really one of the uh, uh, things about the story that I really like, how, it, how a stranger affects different people in this community.